interception that was uh, supposed to be thrown to us, Khalil Herbert. What did you see on that play, and what would you do differently? Yeah, man-to-man uh, -man coverage. Uh, saw the linebackers and the safety collide in the middle of the field, so I knew I had man uh, from the start. And, um, you know, the corner ended up taking Bobby in the flat. And, you know, when you get close to the sideline, usually the corners, you know, they, they didn't get the ball initially, so they started to chill out. And um, he ended up falling off on the route. So um, got to see that. And if I were to do it again or if I had it over, I would just drive it. Drive that ball to Khalil because the defender that had him, man, you know, he got caught up a little bit, was trailing behind. And I um, wasn't looking back, so I really could have just drove it right to him, boom. Would have been a touchdown. So, you know, I left air, allowed the corner to, you know, fall off on Bobby. He had man coverage on Bobby. He fell off, and then he was able to pick that off. But um, it's got to be extra careful down there. You know, goal zone. We have points already. Um, we're up 14 points, and 17 would have made it a three-point uh, or three-score game. So definitely got to, uh, you know, just not turn the ball over, and especially in the goal zone, we already have points. But, yeah. The touchdown pass to Big Dog. How did you see that play unfold? Yeah, uh, he was the first read um, in that, and you know, look back at DJ. Uh, don't think he was open, and then I felt pressure from the left side, and I um, started rolling out. And the guy that was on him and Man tried to, you know, fall off on me, and then I boom, just threw it to him, Big Dog. So glad we were able to get Big Dog a touchdown today. Um, I don't know when the last time he had a Teddy, but I'm happy for him. So yeah. <laughs> I did not. Uh, I did not. I just said, you know, good job. But, uh, you know, pretty sure you got some barks out there from the other guy. Uh, so, so when you guys were, go up 21 nothing, and then you hit that wall of punts and the turnover, you had a field yeah. goal there too. How does that happen? What's the difference between the start of that game yeah. and the wall, and how do you straighten that out going forward? Yeah, I mean, it's just us, um, and it's it's that simple. Uh, you know, we started on, them, started on them hot early, and, you know, before the two-minute drive in the – First half, it was penalties. Um, you know, I didn't really like the two-minute situation, how we uh, dealt with that. Uh, I probably would have did it differently, um, had the clock running used, had the clock running on that third down um, and, you know, not have them get the ball but after the two-minute warning. So they pretty much got a free timeout with the two-minute warning with three timeouts. So I wanted to use a little bit more clock there. But I think uh, all in all, uh, we just kept shooting ourselves in the foot, um, holding penalties, um, and stuff like that, uh, not executing. And, uh, really, I was just trying to get them the guys and just have that zero-zero mindset, uh, reset uh, back to the you know first quarter, and um, just you know come out like we did and just you know sustain that throughout the whole game. So um, definitely got to work on that, on sustaining that uh, firepower we did. We came out 21 points, boom. So we got to keep doing that. Like I felt like we could have put up least 35 40 points so we got to just you know stay on top of us and really not get you know complacent because you you never know what's going to happen as we you know have found out in the past so yeah when you guys get into a law like that how much do you get to interject or how much do you want to interject with luke trying to help figure out what you guys need to be calling or running uh not much because you know i felt like you know first half everything was working so I don't think it's necessarily the play calls. I think I just think it was us. I think, you know, we had I had a, a long run holding call, got back, you know. It was multiple holding calls. So um, you know, I think it's not more about Luke or the play calling and stuff like that. It's about us bringing the plays to life and us executing the plays we get because we have them in there for a reason. We trust our coaches, we trust each other. So it's about us just, you know, taking each play at a time and and really just executing. 21-0, um, you got to have that mindset that it's 0-0, zero, zero, uh, just start of the game. So that's what I was trying to get our guys to do. And, you know, we're going to continue getting better, continue to, uh, you know, play like we did in the first quarter throughout the whole game. So, yeah. Okay. A, lot of, a lot is made about, you know, 300-yard passing games and these types of statistics. But for you, if you're going to be around 200 yards passing, around 100 yards rushing, mm -hmm. do you think that's sustainable, something that you can win with, you know, throughout the long term of your career? And are you cool with that? Uh, I mean, I'm cool with whatever as, as long as we get, as long as we win a uh, game. To be honest with you, so shoot, if I have 100 passing yards with zero touchdowns, zero thing, and we get the win, I'm cool with that. So um, I know people, people love stats, and they say he only did da, 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 da. Like I don't care, we won a game. So um, yeah, as long as we win, I'm not really a numbers guy. You know, all I know is one went up in the win column today. So um, and that's all I care about. So. Yeah. On the first extended play, deep shot to Cole. What the, what gives you the belief to just give him the opportunity to make play against a small guy? There? Um, one on one matchup. DB was 
just panicking back there. He wasn't even looking back at me, so I just threw it up, gave Cole a shot, and you know he came down with it. Um, you know, Cole does a great job with you know extended plays and stuff like that. Y'all saw that last week on the touchdown against the Browns, but um, you know I fully trust Cole. Cole's a great player, um, and I mean yeah, it was a pretty easy decision with me just down there, him one on one, and throwing it up, and he made a play. Justin, what did you feel like? What's the key to your production on the ground Um, you know, just extending plays. Uh, last week they did a lot of drop eight stuff, so we were kind of expecting some of that stuff. But um, you know, they don't have the fastest D linemen, so I knew I would be able to extend plays and stuff like that. But um, you know, um, I think that's really it. So I, I told the O lineman like, "Yo, we don't have to hold. Like, if they get, if they break free, like, they're not as fast as you know Miles Garrett, the the, the guys we played last week." So um. You know, guys did a great job up front, you know, when I didn't have to do anything. And then, you know, scramble drill, I think we could have did a better job uh, with that today. Um, you know, it was a little bit off on the one of DJ and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm just focused on keeping keep getting better and, um, you know, finish the season out with two wins. So, Justin, yeah. with the issues you have with short yardage, so you guys have like a jumbo package. I don't know, they were, they were, a few teams have borderline eligible this year. Yeah. Tight end, motion, whatever. Do you guys have anything in the playbook like that? Because you know, a lot of time you have push, push, tight end, push, push, pitch, all these cute, fancy things. As opposed to just line up and smack somebody in the mouth. You have something in the playbook where you can do that and just say, hey, we're getting, we're getting one yard, you can't stop us. Yeah, we do. But uh, we just didn't run it. And um, yeah, that's all I got to say. And the day I get a Positive question from you is a day that I'm going to be happy. So, um, but nah. But um, yeah, we do have that. And um, yeah, we just didn't call it. Uh, you know, the play call with Roshan, the third and one. Again, I like that play call. We just got to block it up better and execute it better. Like, it's, it's, it's that simple. So, yeah. This win brings you guys doubles in total from last year. Where do you think the progress is most tangible? Um, you said, where do I think the progress? Where's the progress most tangible on from three wins to six wins? Um, I think just in our overall play. I think, um, you know, first year, it's it's a lot of things. You know, everybody understands the offense more. Um, you know, of course, we have, you know, more talented players, um, like guys like Montez and Tremaine on the defense. Their defense is way better this year. So I think we're just better overall as a team. And, um, you know, we've learned how to win as this season um, has, has, has gone along. So, as long as we keep getting better, uh, keep practicing hard, and you know, keep doing the things that we need to do during the week, um, you know, hopefully we can get that one total number up. Justin, so what's, the, what's, what's the effect on about? you when you drop back and in the second half? Cole's out, and DJ is from the way he described it, maybe more of a decoy. Yeah. At that point, I mean, I know the numbers that come out of the mm-hmm. offense when those guys are out, but as far as what you see dropping back and what your chances or options are, like, what, what was? different in the second half when you basically don't have those two guys? I mean, yeah, you just play the play. You know, you can't let, you know, who's out there affect you. Um, you just got to kind of go through your reads, boom, boom, boom. And if it's not there, it's not there. Um, you know, scramble around, make a play. But, um, you know, of course, I would love to have those guys out there. But it's football, you know. You're probably going to get hurt at, at, at one point. So, um, you know, I know DJ battled through tonight with his ankle. And, um, you know, he's going to stay on top of that and get it better. Hopefully, you know, he's feeling 100% next week. We play, but um, I mean, yeah, I mean, as a quarterback, you can't really worry about who's in and who's out. I mean, I guess you kind of have that in your mind on, you know, mirrored concepts on the outside to where it's, you know, pick a side. So, you know, who, who do you like better on a matchup and stuff like that? But, you know, um, with the reads that are pure progressions and stuff like that, one, two, three, just go through your reads. And if it's not there, it's not there. Check the ball down or, you know, make something happen. You talked about last one, Mike. You talked with you about what you did the run game, but what about the team in general? Like, what? As you were game planning during the week, what did you guys see as an opportunity to pick up a lot of yards on the ground, and how impressed were you with how you guys did that today? Yeah, I mean, the offensive line did a great job. Um, like I said, in the first quarter, we were dominating the run game. I felt like, shoot, after I tossed the ball or handed the ball off, you know, Khalil had a lot of space to run. I mean, they were like highways out there. So, um, you know, I think they, the Cardinals, they adjusted well in the second half, and um, there weren't, you know, as many big gaps as they were in the first First half, but you know, O line did a great job blocking Khalil, Roshan. They did a great job running the ball. And, um, you know, really just credit to those guys for, you know, working hard and, you know, attacking, um, you know, practice and each and every day like they do. So, credit to those guys, hats off, and, you know, hopefully we can keep this thing going. Appreciate it, y'all. Merry Christmas.